Hello everyone, Grin here, and I decided to create a whole new series now because that the old game series with the RPG game disappeared with a virus. So I'm going to start over again, but I'll I'll do some more things this time. I'll make something more out of this. Um, except the graphics, I am still not good with those, but um, we'll make it a little more in depth, and I'll just create like a normal game and. I'll explain on the way. So first of all, we will need um, a our player sprite. So we'll start off that way. Actually, you know what? We're going to start by making some buttons because we want to make a menu. So we'll do a sprite underscore. Hold on a second. <coughs> sprite underscore button underscore. Let's say new. Okay, so that'll be the new game button. So we'll make that a 100 by 50. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> okay, so you, you obviously you can make these buttons um, a lot prettier in Photoshop or well, whatever you would like, but I'm still not very good with all those things. So we are just going to use this. <clears throat> That would do a lot. Let's see. Control C. Yep, not there. Not there. Not there. Nope. Fuck. Um. <laughs> there. Nope. So it has to be there. Okay, good. And then a red background. And black text in the middle. Text, there we go. Font, let's have a look at this. Um, <laughs> oh shit. Terminal, that's. Okay, I'll take the system one here. Sample, um, color, black. There we go. Size, oh, we can go more than 10. Oh, okay, um, the text will just be new game. Beautiful. And we'll place that right there. Okay, so that was the new game button. And I would believe that we can just copy this right here. Um, duplicate. And that's right. And zoom in. Okay, no, we can't. Um, <clears throat> so we will actually have to. One second. We could just do like this and delete all of these. There we go. We got the text. And what should the next be? Load game. Or load previous. Forgot something there. Um, I don't know, it should be the black text. Hmm. Load previous. So, oh, okay. Well, let's try this and one more time. Load previous. There we go. Can it be there? You can just fit in there. Beautiful. So we've got new button, load previous. And we will need one more button. And we'll duplicate this one because it has the least text. And that'll be sprite underscore button underscore exit. So we would like to have an exit button. So we'll delete all this one more time. And put some new text in there. Okay, so now we have that. We want a background. And I believe I have a pretty good looking background somewhere. Um, I'll just find it. Okay, so this is the background that I will be using. 
I want to call it um, background underscore menu. And so now we have all these things that we need for the menu. We just need the room for the menu, which should be this right here. And I'll just move this here. Okay, hold on a second. There, the compiler. If I can get a hold of it, there we go. Um, and I'll move this over here. Okay, there we go. Background. That will be our foreground background. Okay, so this will be my background. We need the objects. Oh yeah, we forgot to make them objects. So we'll have an object for obj underscore button underscore new. The new button. Okay, so now <coughs> what I want to do here is mouse mouse or left button. Uh, we could do left button pressed, but I'll assume that it won't be pressed once. And then we want to go to code right here and do um, room underscore go to. And then we'll make the room number. We'll just say um, Um, so the exit button should be the, the last one, uh, load should be in the middle, and new should be up here, um, yes, that looks fine I think, oh, shit. We haven't loaded, we haven't saved anything yet, and well, there is the there is not the room yet. The exit button will work. Okay, so now the new button. What was it? The name, room underscore new. Okay, so we'll create that. Oh wait, no. First of all, we'll create the player.
I guess try pretty much. Um, yeah, that'll be the player. I don't know. I'm, I really don't know how to just make that. Okay, so now we got the player and we make him an object. He should have some health points. Your HP is equal to 100. Um, not sure if we should bring mana into this. Um, mm, no, I, I actually, I actually won't. So let's see. Um, we'll have something like strength, or just str is equal to. Let's say 10. We start with 10. I know 1. Strength and then defense equal 1. And what else had we last time? I think we had magic. Okay, so that'll be that for this um, things right here. These videos will be a little bit long, but I hope that you actually like that. Um, okay, so now a stat event. We'll just make it move and then I will let you free. Okay, so we want to do, of course, if keyboard underscore check. And then let's do already. Oh, already. Oh, there we go. Um, actually, okay, that would be W. And then he should do, let's see, that will be y minus equal, hmm, how fast, 4? Four? 4 sounds fine. <coughs> if we'll make it repeat like this, keyboard, check, um, x, and, well, I don't know, use, oh, I'll explain this, um, x minus equal 4, no, sorry, y plus equal 4, if keyboard check, a, then x minus equal 4, I'll type it in and I'll, I'll tell you how this works. Okay, so it pretty much says if keyboard check, oh crap, if keyboard check or D, that means it will be a like a um, a letter or a symbol. And then W, that do whatever's in these curly brackets, and that's pretty much it. And Y, that will be the like it's a it works like this in in um, computers that uh, will be like, um, how am I supposed to do this? Okay, so it's like Y and then X and then, well down here let's say pl plus and Y, no it's the other way around, fuck. <laughs> X plus, there we go. And Y plus and then up here it's like the further you go up, um, the less the Y becomes, and the further you go to the left, the, f the less the X will become. Um, okay, so now what we want to do in here is to do the direction is equal to um, mouse underscore. No, wait, sorry point distance or point direction 
And then what we want to do here is just say x comma y comma miles underscore x comma miles underscore gotcha underscore y. So this tells it to point towards the th like from the cell on x and y coordinates to the mouse and the y coordinates of the mouse. Yeah, that made sense. <laughs> um, let's see what did I uh, I forget easy room underscore new. Okay, so let's create that and rename it. Rename. Okay, so in the room on the screen new, the background should be, well, let's say the world will be this size right here. Um, we we'll, we'll, we will like to have a wall, sprite underscore wall, and it's bright. Um, thirty two by thirty two. And what should that look like? It should be like a stone wall. Kind of like this, and then like that. Could be a little darker in the middle. Kind of like this. Oh, that's a little. That's very dark. Um. Jeez. Okay, like that. Something like that. Okay, so that'll be the wall, and we we'll just want a wall. OBJ underscore wall, this one, and then in the player event, they call that one player. Um, collision with the wall means x equal to x previous and y equal to y previous. So this is pretty much just that the x should be what the x was previously. And the y should be y, what the y was previously, the coordinates. And that's pretty much just for, well, that. So that the player won't get stuck in the wall. Okay, so now we want to place the wall objects. And this will take a little bit of time. Okay, so there we go, and we would like to be, well, we'll have a little bit more wall here, and here, like this. Okay, and then we would like to have the player start right here. That's a pretty weird thing right there. Okay, well, I'll change the player a little bit. He shall have blonde hair. Not that blonde, like, like annoying blonde. There we go. Ah, I'm like this right now. Okay, um, so if we try and, let's check if it worked in here. Okay, did, cool. So if we try and run the game file now we should get if we press new game we should get something like this okay i found the failure it should be image underscore angle is equal to point underscore direction um since it is a 2d game and not a 3d game as i have been working on for a bit now so yeah this is um it, it pretty much says that the image or the angle of the image should be equal to the point direction of the mouse from the player. Let's very quickly test this one more time and now it works. There's just one thing now is that he's moving a little bit weirdly. And the way to fix that is to go into the player and center him. Or the player sprite, that is. 
and that should fix our problem. And it does. Cool. Okay, so now we want, oh well, 21 minutes have, have passed, so in the next video we'll be creating our first NPC, which would be kind of like an old tutor or something asking us for our name and other things like that. So that's it for this video and I'll make the next one right away so that it won't be confusing. And bye.